And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. It's another clear and cool start to the day. Taking a look outside across Jackson again. Roadways looking very good. No snow on those roadways just yet. By this weekend, it'll look a little bit different across the Jackson area. I'll talk more about that in just a bit. Out there right now into Jackson, very cold. Two below zero in your area. 11 in Idaho Falls, 15 in Pocatello. But look up north, actually up to our northeast. Billings, one of the more mild spots at 46 degrees. That's because there's a lot of clouds up in Billings this morning, but locally across the Snake River Plain, we're seeing a clear start to the morning, so no clouds and those temperatures sharply falling. Bundle up when you're headed out of the door. Looking across to our northwest, we do have a lot of clouds out there and also some moisture across Seattle. Not much of that is going to make its way into the Snake River Plain just yet. Area of high pressure remains in control for the next few days, but once that begins to break down, we'll be under more of a northwesterly flow of air, and that will open the door for some snow to make its way into our area as soon as about Thursday night into Friday, and we actually have chances of snow in our forecast from about Friday through Monday, so it looks like a little bit more of an active pattern will be making its way into our area once we approach the end of the work week. But because we have that area of high pressure and control, there's not much mixing in the atmosphere. So there's an air stagnation advisory in effect that may look a little hazy out there. Air quality may be reduced over the next few days as well. For today, all we'll be dealing with is a lot of sunshine in the sky. Temperatures a few degrees warmer compared to yesterday. 39 in Idaho Falls, 43 today in Pocatello, 41 in Blackfoot for the Central Mountains. Mainly sunny for your area today. You may see a few clouds at times, but high temperatures returning to the 40s for a few more areas. Ledor, Mackey, Chalice, lower to middle 40s. For the highlands into the western half of Wyoming, mainly sunny as well. A few clouds passing through at times. Jackson getting above freezing today at 33 degrees. Island Park, you'll be at 38. Afton at 38 as well. Yellowstone, one of the more cooler spots today at 34 degrees. For tonight, skies will remain clear. Clear. Temperatures will fall once again, but a few degrees warmer for some areas. Jackson will be at 3 degrees tonight. Idaho Falls, 11 degrees. Pocatello, similar to last night, at 16 degrees. And for the Central Mountains, looks like your area will see the teens for tonight. Stanley will be into the single digits. For your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers, seven-day forecast. Expect to see a high temperature of 45 tomorrow, 35 by Thursday. We'll see a mixture of clouds and sun. So again, those clouds build in. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we do have a chances for some snow in our forecast. I know the skiers are definitely happy about that. Idaho Falls, sunshine today, a few clouds tomorrow. More clouds by Thursday, chance of snow Friday through the Monday time frame. For the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, mainly sunny out there for today and tomorrow, partly cloudy by Thursday. Chance of snow on Friday, and then it looks like snow is a, a better chance for the weekend and also into the first half of next week. And for the Central Mountains, Salmon Chalice and Mackey, mainly sunny out there for today, partly cloudy tomorrow, and then clearer by Thursday.